Welcome back to Connect 36 Possessed, <laughs> the beer of kings. We about, we're already getting into it. I am King Bear in the building. Comedian CJ Travels in the house. Big tone, heavy duty cutie. Sleep on the West Coast. All right, what's going on, fellas? How was y'all weekend? It was straight. Great. None the great. Great. Met you guys. Or, yeah. Same here, man. Or, Same here. Had a little Easter vacation. Yeah. Yeah, I, I it kind of felt weird though for me, man. I'm like, uh, six o'clock, I got something to do, but <laughs> you, you ain't had no reason to get out the house. No! He's gonna say, yo, I got an Easter egg hunting so mountain. That's who gets you. I got my own eggs from the fridge and hit him. So he hit his own eggs. All right, kids, this, this was cool and all, but I got something I got to go do. <laughs> right. I dropped off my daughter. Came, Jesus came back today. Wait a That's minute. That's it. <laughs> I dropped off my, my oldest, and, I, you know, I usually just come straight over here. Right. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, I'm going back home. <laughs> <laughs> you took a long route home. I did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It was bad traffic. You know, Jesus rose today. Traffic did too. I, I, even did a, I even did the speed limit. Um, no need to rush. Well, you know, I invited you guys out. I didn't know. I knew you weren't going to be able to make it, but uh, Must I went and checked out. Checked out. What's that? Oh, whatever there, sunny side. Whatever sunny side. <laughs> Always by the beach. I want to hear all that. We need you to come for like one live show over here, man. You know I'm gonna make it happen. Yeah, he's gonna have to. That'd be dope. Happen. That'd be dope. But um, oh, no. we, oh, we go over there. I'm good with that too. Yeah, whatever. Well, so we we uh, me can you know how long it's gonna to get here? <laughs> you, you got permission to go to the West Coast? <laughs> bro, <laughs> so, I know. <laughs> I know you ain't talking. I've been about here. Now. I've been here for the get go. <laughs> you know. You got to at least ask 30 net days before you come oh, outside. I'm not the one who has to block people from like live shows. That's fine. <laughs> you just, hey, you hey, just hey, everybody got access you, to my shows. No, but you just asked them. My missus was just well, maybe watching. So that's okay. I just that's come. I cut all the, all the shenanigans out and block up front. <laughs> you can't ask what you don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, I love it. I miss you guys. I really yeah. That, that, yeah. You, you, you realize all of that stemmed from I miss you guys. <laughs> right. Deep down. <laughs> I had no one to talk to that to, man. I'm looking at the wall. I can't talk to my three year old about it. I can't talk to my 12 year old about it. So I'm like, seven more days. Seven more days. You know, I got to hold myself. Like, seven more days. Yeah, man. Yeah, so I. I took the family out to the Dogwood Festival. How was that? I heard the traffic was stupid over there. It was insane. But, it, I mean, it is every year. But, um, but you know, you drove in Malcolm's car before. Yeah. I didn't drive. <gasps> what? We took my what? car. What? And, what? You ain't, and you I ain't let my better, daughter drive. For better parking. It was huh? a strategy. For better parking. It had to be for that. Nah, because I didn't want to deal with the traffic. You didn't go to Thorn Road, did you? <laughs> yeah, you didn't go to Road. You didn't go through Thorn road. road. I didn't drive. Okay. Jada drove. Drive. drove. My daughter drove. Yeah. But you're a big truck. Over there, no, it was her car. I'm just saying. And you, Piedmont, you feel you got a really wrong, parallel park to follow those yeah, sideways yeah. streets. I've taken so it's better, to, it's better to drive your smaller vehicle because right, you got to right. squeeze in. Yeah. You know, the right. niggas are really early. Yeah. So you got to just the strategy for that. Yeah, the Silver Ghost is. Yeah, yeah. That, that would be the bad look. I'd have to miss a thousand spots. But we went ahead and just paid the $30 for parking, though. Ooh, where? Yeah, it's 30 now. Um, right off of Peachtree. You know where Piedmont splits on the road where it's one way, going yeah, one yeah, way, yeah. one and then they split? Yeah, yeah. That split street, there was a, there's a, yeah, there's a, a garage over there. <clears throat> and they yeah, yanked the know. price up to 30 yachts, so. It was pretty Every time it's a big event, it's, a, do it's a pretty day outside. I didn't know I was coming. 80, yeah. 82 of course. Of and the festival, like, across the yeah, street. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we knew. You but the years before I went, it was like twenty dollars, so they were like, "Yep, inflation." Yep. Yep. Time to make get that money. So, but nah, outside of that, you know, it was a good time. We we finally. This is the first time I actually realized that how segregated the Dogwood Festival and the park is. Really? Yeah, I had no idea. You know, you and, and, and many, exactly as many years as as we went and all this, yo. So the upper level where the parking was, where it was thirty dollars. It was pleasant. It was quiet. You know, people, you weren't supposed to have dogs in the park, but people out there walking their poodles and their pickanies. You know, white people jogging <laughs> freely, having a grand old time. 
you know, all types of stuff. So we sat out there, we got some food, we put out the blanket, you know, we did a little people watching, eating, talking amongst the three of us. Um, and then we said, well, you know what, let's go out and see the rest of the, the, the festival. Let's go see what else, you know, the art things you could buy and different foods and stuff like that. So we kept walking and kept walking and kept walking. And we came on to the other side of the park where it, it got really dark on that side of the park. Really the dark. whole complexion of the park changed. The music changed. You know, every rule that they had for Dogwood was broke on that side of the park. They said no dogs, no coolers, no umbrellas, no, barbecue no grills? outside food. No umbrellas? Really? Yo, yeah. It's hot. They don't yeah, have no, no tents. Yo. We <laughs> always had all of that. It was tents, it was umbrellas, coolers, barbecue pits, cats sitting over there with the coolers selling selling um Water. Migo Migo drinks up out of the little pouches, <laughs> little alcohol in pouches. That's the best sounding oh, lunch, but it was yo, real quick. Yo, and it was yo, it was a uh it was a line in the park. Like you're walking down the concrete and everything's pleasant. You walk ten feet and then all of a sudden everything changed. It wasn't even like a fade, dog. It was just, oh, okay, we we over here now. Oh, you went bankhead. <laughs> yeah. You went to bankhead. We went from bankhead or bankhead to bankhead. Real quick. Yep. Yeah, so it was interesting. Uh, we got plenty of topics to talk about, you know. So you guys ready to do it? Let's roll. Get it. All right, let's get to it. All right, so... <clears throat> Today's topic, the first topic that I want to ask you guys about is um, can you treat stepkids exactly like you would treat your own kids? Yes. It was easy. Yes. I've yeah, done it. Yeah, I've, I've done, it. done it before. It's the intention is to do that. Exactly like your own kids. Yes. I mean, it's not going to be exactly, but the intention well, is to do it. Well, that's the question. The intention yes. is to do it that way. Yes. I'm not asking intent. I'm saying that's all you can do. I said, do. can you? Yes, I can. You can. So if the stepkid starts wilding out, you pop the stepkid like you pop your own kid. Well, you know, most parents say, I'm not. Uh, we we, we backtrack it now. What's going on? Well, if you already got the level of respect, most of the times situations aren't going to happen too often. If you if you establish some of that shit up front, if you got some a rapport and you got that ability to do, because when I was stepdad and Tyson, there's very few times I've ever. Hands. But I again, just, right along the lines of what CJ said, when that when that respect when that respect level is there, the, and kind of the, the the laws of the land laid down early, right. it's you know it, it should be a smooth, harmonious relationship. Should be on paper. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the beginning would be pretty tumultuous. I mean, because you, especially um, with kids who are already used to getting their way and things being a certain way, there's going to be a level of rebellion no matter what. If it's spoiled or yeah, uh, if it's boy, boy, kind of yeah, thing. or they could be just used to getting or doing things a certain way. Or they could be used you to know? just having a mom's attention one hundred percent. Now you got to split yeah. it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and you know, and kids aren't used to that. Kids are used to you know they can come into mommy's room whenever they want. And now all of a sudden, <laughs> they got a knock on the door. <laughs> Why is the door closed? They can lay in the bed with mommy. Right. That right. bullshit right there. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Nah, hey, man. Whoa, wait, 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 don't, don't be, be oh, yeah, yeah because, because you don't have to subscribe to think that, that we used to lay in the bed with mom. That, that didn't, didn't happen. happen. <laughs> no, 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 we did. What are you talking about? Before dad came around, we, we was in mom's bed, dog. That was, no, was four, 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 three, four, four, five, five years old before my age of remembrance. remembrance clearly. Okay, so my mother, yeah, my mom married my dad um, when I was eight. 85, 86. Yeah, 86. They got married uh, August 31st of 86. Yep. And um, yeah, so I was nine. And I um, was six. Yeah. So, but they had been together for like a year and a half before that. So, um, but yeah, before that, you know, uh, me and Mel were running how we wanted to run. I mean, cause my mother, she was, she was the, the mom in the hood that she busted her behind working three <laughs> and four jobs. So she wasn't around. So we was in the streets and we had our uncle who was, you know, mentally, <laughs> 
<laughs> Mentally, he was like a 12 year old. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Huh? My mom's tight uncle. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We, we put it there. Rest in peace, Uncle Earl. Uncle Earl, man. He's in the house? Huh? He's at the house? No, no, he lived with my grandmother. But when my mother was at work, he would come, uh, he would be brought over to our house to babysit us. But he was out there running the streets with us. Because, you know, he, you know, back in those days, he used to call him slow. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he, he basically reached the, the, the mental maturity and intellectual level about a 12 year old, you know, 12, 13 year old. So now we're at seven, eight, and nine with a 12 year old telling us what to do. So there was a, a whole a, lot of. <laughs> a body of a full grown man at the brain of a 12 year old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was like 28, 29, <laughs> something like that. And he'd be out there playing with us. But of course, he looked like a dog on, like, he man. You know, we play baseball. He's smacking it out the field. You know, or we play tag or football. Smack at you. I'm like, that's what you got. Nah, he didn't. Nah, nah. He nah, was, he was he fine was, with it. Because he, he was mentally 12. 12. Right. But he was, I mean, because he was 29, 30, you know, and he's playing with 8, 9, 10-year-olds, you know, he he's doing stuff. Like, we play tag, and if he's it, game's over. Yeah, he's gonna catch you. Yeah, he's gonna catch you. When we play, when we played baseball, he was only allowed to bat with one hand. We wouldn't yeah. let him use two hands because if he used two, you know where the ball's going. Yeah, the ball's low. So he would have to swing with one arm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you know, and when we, you know, we play football, all we do is, you know, hand him the ball and just watch the touchdown. <laughs> he weaving kids <laughs> like a seamstress. <laughs> Little kids diving and falling. <laughs> Can't even catch them, though. But, um, you know, so we were used to act, you know, acting a certain way, being able to stay out. And not because, you know, my mother would tell us we got to be inside at a certain time. And she told Earl, don't don't let them stay out. And then we'd be able to talk to Come on, Earl. We, we really want to stay outside. It, it's okay if you're out here with us. And he's like, yeah. oh, okay. Well, <laughs> you know, that type of stuff. <laughs> and then, then the dark side fell in on us. <laughs> the strong arm of the Lord came in. My dad came in. And all that ceased. All, all of it. <laughs> all of it. It was over with. But, um, you know, honestly, I wouldn't change a damn thing. Not a damn thing about how we were raised. All the whoopings I got. I would... That makes me uh, This nigga had a racquetball paddle. Dang Not no, no no no. It was the paddle 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 Right. But and this is like Tyson with the damn brass knuckles. It wasn't enough to have just the wooden racquetball paddle. My man took he put screws all around the outside to give it more weight. So he took that rubber thing off and then put screws all around it. God. Reinforce the handle, yo. God damn, yo. Bro. Big brother Almighty. <laughs> <laughs> School days. <laughs> wow. Oh, Bruh. He got you ready for the, 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 the threat of the paddle was enough to make 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 it attack right. Man, he had that shit in the wall plaque. Yeah, he yeah, you know, had it hanging up. Point that shit, shit like it, fuck it. him. That thing was so notorious, it didn't matter where he put it. We knew where it was. Right. And he and he played games with us, too. Like, if we did something, he would like, okay, why did you do this? And your stomach, you would already feel the sink and feel it like, please don't say those words. Please prepare yourself. Damn! Damn! Wait, that paddle that, that was like Thor's hammer. Yo. <laughs> when, when, once it hit his hand, it was game over. Yo, needless to say, there was many a night. How many swaps were he hit you with? It depends. All he really needed was one. Yeah, <laughs> but if it was more than one, there's, yeah, there's, been, more seven, than one. there's been seven to eight, eight, eight <laughs> days swipes, though. And yeah, seven to eight days or seven to eight swipe oh, days. Oh, I was like, God damn, yeah. Yeah. marathon, not that long. <laughs> yeah. Seven to eight swipe <laughs> days. I'm like, nobody called you. God damn, Jerry Lewis, yeah, God, dog. When you <laughs> finish, you know, and that that booty meat swell up, yeah. Yeah. and you you would feel it back as hard as a rock. You'd be like, this nigga's trying to kill me. 
I can't <laughs> sell this shit at all. And, and this is why he smells answer to booty anything. Exactly. We got a backstory now. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hey, uh, my, my mom's, mom's gonna watch this and get my dad. She's she like, you was doing what? She knew. Know she knew. She knew. She knew because we, we beg for mercy for her. We beg for mercy for her. You beg for mercy for her. It's just, please. Honestly, it was our own fault because, I mean, like, like right, right before she got, right before she got married. I mean, me and my brother, we, we were doing wild shit from, from jump. But it got to a point that anything that my mom tried to beat us with, we would be like, Okay, ow. Okay, ow. You need to shoot that shit like would you rather. And for the floor. Let me go get this half nigga with the five brothers and sisters that you used to fight and bring him in the house and let him beat you a couple times. Yeah, nah. All it took was one time. Yeah. And I'm telling you, man, my my dad was like my size. (laughs) (laughs) At least it sort of seemed like it. (laughs) Nowadays, I'm like, what? Has he been down <laughs> there? He's been down here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been down a couple times. I think I met him. I think so. Yeah, y'all met him at the barbecue at the park. Yeah, my, that was my birthday. Oh. Barbecue yeah, at the park. It was still a barbecue. It's a random barbecue at the park. Yeah, that was my dad. Yeah, I'm um, But yeah, he, wow. Yeah, it, it was it, it was crazy. But that's, 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 but, but from, from the step child perspective. Yeah. yeah. And that was... um. But did you feel it was out of love? You didn't feel like it was malicious. It was nothing. Did you feel like yeah, he was he was trying to correct him, and and it was out of love? Yeah, right now, it. absolutely. Back then, no. Oh no, he was a Nazi. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, he was evil in if, if, if there was a number that I could have called the rotary phone to get him up off me, <laughs> oh, if you would have knocked your ass up by a third rotary, you know how long does this take to the cycle around? Yeah. Help me. <laughs> For real. Yeah, it was yeah, that was um it, it was a different kind of thing, man. He um you know, as a kid, you you don't you don't know what, what this what the intent of discipline is. You know, you just outside having fun doing stuff, and then next thing you know, you know, as a kid, your mentality goes, Hey, I was having fun, now I'm getting beat. Like, like none of that stuff in between is even remembered, yeah. you know. So, as a kid, and I remember there was times when um, my mom and my grandmother would get together, and you know, with all new types of relationships, there's always going to be a bit of abrasion and stuff like that. And I remember being a big head nosy kid and listening to conversations that I ain't supposed to be listening to. And my mom venting about my dad, you know, some marital stuff that they're going through. He, I don't know, put his socks somewhere or something like that. Left on the floor. Right. And she complaining. And my mom's like, you know, I don't know if I could keep going through this. And I, here I come running. Yeah, mom, you should divorce him. Like, <laughs> damn. This nigga put the battery right in his mother's back. That's all I need to hear. Go down. That's it, man. He got to go. He got to go. He put our socks away. You can't stand this shit. <laughs> yeah, he, he got to go. I don't know who this guy is. What did he say? Prepare yourself? Huh? Right after he said that, he like, prepare yourself? Nah, nah. I mean, it was just my mom and my grandmother talking oh. at my grandmother's house. And then my grandmother hit me with it. Children should be seen and never heard. Yep, absolutely. And I was like, I don't even know what that means. Like, why do you keep saying it? I know what it means now. Classic like, line. Yep. But, um, yeah, but like I said, I wouldn't change a thing because the beatings and the stuff that he put me through, it literally made me the man I am today. And I don't, <laughs> it's real hard to pull, pull a whole bunch of BS over on me because I look at life, you know, the way that he taught me how to look at life. And had it been my mom's, uh, she mean, tried her best, but you, you mean your feelings a lot? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel. Yeah, I probably. Well, but my mom was a, a certified tomboy too. Oh, okay. So it wouldn't have been that bad because of the simple fact that, you know, my mother was a fighter, like a certified fighter. She liked being the streets, whooping tail. Whoa. Yeah. 
Right. So she even got the best of him one time. I don't know. Should I put that one out there, about? <laughs> <laughs> All right, nigga, we tell the stories. Tell the stories. Tell the stories. <laughs> tell the stories. That's it. Hey, I, Charlie Murphy. I, 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 I feel <laughs> that if our subscribers would like to hear that story. <laughs> yes, I feel like it would, too. Patreon, I'm coming soon. Yeah, okay. All right, well. <laughs> But that Mel, is a hell of a story. <laughs> Mel fill in the gaps if I leave it. <laughs> so, so that is um, a hell of a story. So we were in. Uh, me and Melvin was in our room, and I can't remember what the situation was. And my dad was trying to be, you know, the alpha, trying to be the the dad on some stuff. And um, something me, either me or Melvin or both of us did. So we got to sent to our room. My mother didn't like it, so she starts arguing with him. Right? So as they're arguing, they're getting louder and louder and louder, and they take it to their bedroom. And they go in their bedroom, and you hear the door slam, and then they're arguing back and forth. Mm -hmm. So now me and Melvin sit in the room like, yo, he get real loud. Yo, if he tries to hit mom, yo, we gonna get him, dog. We gonna get word. Now, now we're, 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 we're 10 and 7. seven. No. <laughs> yeah, 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 we was about that. Yeah, that was about that. How tall were you? Uh, my, at that age, mom was mom was, was six four. four. I was no six <laughs> four. <laughs> my dad had a chance. No, I was still held his arms. My my dad was he was uh six feet. So in, a, in the eyes of a child. Yeah. So I was my head was about under his chin. So like five, five, seven, seven five, yeah. eight ish, somewhere around there. So, but you know, ten years old. Me, me, me and Mel, yo, we could get him. <laughs> we could get, if he hit on mom, yo, we gonna get him. He push Mel in the right? front. So we hit him. We hit him, get it louder and louder. And then you hear, <clears throat> you hear my mom's voice cussing and stuff. And then the next thing, it's like boom, 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 boom. So me and my brother like, yo, that's it. Yo, we gotta get him. So we leave our room and we go over to their hallway and their doors locked. <clears throat> so, um, and but we're still hearing the thumps and stuff like that and all this. And um, now that's where it gets a little foggy because I don't, I don't remember if we banged on the door or not. But I think we made it known that we were out there. And then everything after that, it got kind of, it got real quiet. So after it was quiet, then you hear the 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 twisting of the door mm -hmm. and then um after the door gets gets unlocked my mom kind of swings the door open keywords my mom swings the door yeah. open like so we bust up in the door and this big gargantuan like seriously whooping our tail man is on the floor in a fetal position like covering his eyes and like screaming about his eyes and my mom's standing over this nigga like Muhammad Ali. She's like, breathe hard. She went straight And then, was it on the bed or did she have it in her hand? The bottle? She had it in her hand. Okay, my mother had a bottle of 409 in her head. Wow. <laughs> she that she she trying to disinfect <laughs> his eyes. It's a decreaser, uh, de de man. Yeah. Wow. But, and my mom is. Thoughts. My mother is every bit of five, seven ish, six, five, 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 five six, six, yeah, somewhere, a buck, sixty bucks, seventy on a even on a heavy then? rain day. Even back then. Yeah. Wow. In fact, no, nah, nah, she was too she was small, small back, back then. then. Yeah. Small so, back then. Yeah, but she was a firecracker. Mm -hmm. She she always was the firecracker of the family. And um. That's what. Mom being a firecracker was actually a blessing for us because it got us out of a lot of shit. Because every yeah. kid in the neighborhood knew that my mother would fight either you or your parents. So they were like, "Lisa, bring the kids along." Yeah, yeah. But so back to the the whole stepkid thing, and um, you know, I'm I'm just wondering about that because it's it's real, you know, not just from our side, but I know you guys can relate from the other side, yeah. um, because of you know. Y'all having uh, spouses or, or girls that they have to do exactly what I'm talking about, which is, you know what I'm saying, you guys had kids, and they got to come in and be that. And then they have their, you know, kids uh, that came out of them. Do you see a difference in how 
how your your significant other handles that situation. Yeah, yeah, you know? sure. they women. Yeah, they, they women. They they want to treat their their blood, you know, better than you know the, their love, you know, child, the bonus child. Exactly. They call it that shit. Some when they bonus child, I never use those terms. I I would call. Define a bonus child. I don't even know what that is. It's, it's, it's a child. That's what they call That's what women use. Child. Yeah, this is not my child. That's their way of saying this is my stepchild. Yeah. It's cool for Oh, oh yeah. this so one, this is, one. This is not their child. child. It's not right. the kid that they have is right. the bonus. Right. Right. Wow. It's never used. Like, mine's never used it until she started having it for me. As soon as she was like, this is my daughter. As soon as the kids come, this is my bonus child. Mm-hmm. Or she just forget to bring them all the time. I'm like, I got four kids, by the way. Right. We got four kids. It's like, yeah, my bonus child, she's the oldest and she's not here right now. I'm like, yo, four is the number, not three. Right, right. Okay, don't forget. Wow. So, you know, women, and a lot of times, I can't speak for Antonio, women will put you in those situations where they're trying to make you make choices between yeah. her and me. I sleep with you. I'm the, the, the wife and you should. No, no, no. No, no, no. And then they put the Bible in. Hold on. There's no blended families in the Bible. Cut it out. So we're not going to keep going. Back and forth. Well, keep. <laughs> My mom told me. The number one family is a blended family. Who? Yep. Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. Oh, we're not saying Joseph kids. That's a technicality. <laughs> you can't bring the American the American family. Don't get, you don't get no more blended than that. <laughs> she's she she not thinking about that. And then, and then Jesus, Jesus be like, no, you ain't my daddy. What Joseph going to say? Jesus said, flip My daddy could do it. You Jesus said, you're going to tell us a rabbi. What you going to tell the kid that could do that? Who can tell you to tell a turtle when it's wine? You ain't going to tell that man nothing. My bonus child. There, there's a reason why they skip like all of Jesus' upbringing in the Bible. Twelve to thirty-three. Yeah, because all all that all, all that now is turned up. That <laughs> was you ain't my dad. <laughs> that was turned up Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, taxes plus. Yeah, they make you. It's moments and like I said, I can't speak for They make you try to pick pick sides. You like I'm not yeah. gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? It's my daughter. It's my kid. And you hear both sides out, and you like that was uncalled. It's been many times, literally, I'm like, that's fucking uncalled for. Right. And now she's going to go tell her mom, my ex, and now I got to keep her off you. But, you it, but if that habit keeps happening and you can't change it, why still keep with the same type of person? You know what I mean? If she's, if that person is not accepting your, your first child. I mean, eventually, yeah, you, you, you step away from it. But the point is, at first, you try to fix it. Right. You, won't, you, won't, you don't step. You don't, That's the last resort. Because you're thinking, all right, where can I, you know, hey, there's some disrespect on her side, there's some disrespect on the side. Where can I be the mediator where I can, I can come to a common ground for everybody? And it'll go good for a little while, and yeah. then something happens. They always like, for a week or two, yeah, and then it shit squawks, and then it gets worse than the last time. Like, mm-hmm. Why you keep putting me in this yeah. situation? So, again, for me, because I have some fucking common sense, and I know I establish respect up front, I never had to do that as the stepdad. Right? I totally forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because Tyson, I like literally, in those years I was with him, it was probably twice, maybe once I ever really hit him. Who's Tyson? He was Tyson. Jazz is Jazz. Dude, we always had baseball. baseball with him. Are you serious right now? That's why he was at the bar. I was here for Tyson. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, nigga. Bro, what the fuck you put in his Kool Aid, though? He said, drink the Kool Aid. What did you put in his Kool Aid? How many years have you That's the fruit snack. Right. Yeah, Tyson. Stop looking for the sugar, man. So, so because of his situation, yeah. I mean, his father literally called me and told me, yo, thank you for being a father to him, and I couldn't be, wow. right? That's, because, that's, and that was deep shit. That's a real never, man. Real. Yeah. Because he would just send shit to him. Remember, his, his father was the designer of Nike, of Jordans. Sole creator of all the For Your Favorite Fucking Jordans, he created those. So he didn't, he was like, oh, he just sent checks, or send sneakers. Damn, it's not like you were in a Jesus situation. No. My daddy made J's. What did you do? <laughs> he did. He did hit me with that shit before. He ain't come show, bro. He was like, yo, those are the things my dad made. I saw what he does. I was like, fuck this, bro. <laughs> I saw the blueprint. <laughs> you these sneakers. You gotta pop that little nigga in the throat after that. What? What can you say with that shit, nigga? He making yeah, sneakers that you wear right now, nigga. For real, nigga. He say he ain't on fridge no more, nigga. Yo, that's you just as bad as... You gotta reestablish dominance. Right. You gotta punch me in the throat. Yeah. So. Cliff would do the same stuff that, that cats go through when they, um, they mess with somebody that used to be with an NBA player. <laughs> and then that motherfucker walk around, you got his jersey. <laughs> <laughs> you like my daddy down, nigga. <laughs> 
Oh, that's my daddy's shoe. Right. Like, what, nigga? I'm so, I'm so glad San Diego don't hey, got no sports teams. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> well, you still got the Padres, though. No. Do they have yeah, the Padres still out there? Yeah, yeah they might, too. <laughs> All right. Run around. Well, I know you ain't got to worry about it, but this guy's run around with them brown baseball jerseys that <laughs> is the dad of they stuck. <laughs> <laughs> People like, I don't give a fuck, man. Can I get the game for free? That's all that matters to me. You can tell your dad to give me some tickets. Word. <laughs> the rest of that, I don't give a shit. He paid the child support. Yo, we good. What's the problem? Mm. But, you know, Antonio, you brought up a good question. And, you know, I, I kind of see it, you know, because, you know, y'all are two of my closest. So I, I, I definitely watch and monitor the stuff that, you know, y'all talk about and what y'all bring up and stuff like that. And, um, you know, both of y'all were in the type of situation where you had children and you brought them into the situation to somebody who didn't have kids. Mm-hmm. And then, so, it, it's from the outside looking in, I can see how it could be real <laughs> difficult to really know what somebody's going to be mm-hmm. until they're put in that situation. So, right. um and at least from your side, you know, i seen a complete 180 type situation because, you know, just watching, you know, observing when, when you brought Jazz into the situation, you know, she was balls to the wall all about her. Girls days, just get nails done, and all that stuff. And I was like, yo, this is going to be a good one. Happened yeah. the same. All, all that, it was the same? Mm-hmm. And then once they get their own, it was like, <laughs> Word. And I saw it come out there. Don't be different when you're... No, I ain't no. So, I mean, you know... Tough. Exactly. Like, I, I, I don't even... I, I commend y'all, man. I really do. Because I don't know how I, I would deal with that. Like, how, how do you, And especially when you got time invested with somebody you know, before know. they had their kids, you know, and, you know, if you jump that broom or not, but you got time with them. Then all of a sudden they do the 180 after they get their own. Like what? I mean, like how, how do you fix that type of situation? Like what do you do? It's all a pain. Like it's it's a, it's a mental mental thing you go back and forth with because it makes you feel like there's been many times in just transparency. My daughter and I it tarnished our relationship. Like she didn't come around for months. Mm, so I now mm, that, shit, that shit killed yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah, and it course. caused a rift between me and my wife at the time because I'm like, yo, she not coming because of you. Right. She told me she doesn't feel safe in the house and That's I crazy. can't, she doesn't feel protected. Right. Even mm-hmm. though I'm getting in between you, it mm. keeps happening. Right. On top of that, again, her mom and her clan wants to see you bust your head open and right. we are 10 minutes from them. They yeah. can see you at any given time that I'm not around. Mm-hmm. And put hands on you. So you got to cut it out. Because now I got to go to the wolves and go explain why this shit keep happening. When I said I had it under control, and it's like a third, third, second, third infraction. You know what I'm saying? So it put me in a situation where I started building animosity in two wars. And where I couldn't give it the benefit of the doubt. You're the adult in the house, and I can't give you the benefit of the doubt. When you tell me something over the phone happened, I'm like, well, let me hear a side. And now I hear a side, I'm like, uh, oh, you taking that work? You have a record <laughs> of going overboard. Right, right. So you lost that benefit of the doubt. Right. You know what I'm saying? I've seen, and I've been there, and I've watched her go from zero to 100. I said, this is the shit I'm talking about. So if you do this in front of me, what the hell you did, you did when I wasn't here? Yeah. Mm. Like, yeah. you, yeah, you that's can't right. literally right. spiral in front of me, and then you, you want me to take the benefit of No, I watched you right yeah. now. Mm-hmm. Go from zero to 100 for no reason, the smallest things. Mm. So, no, it definitely puts you in a situation. And then when you do it in front of the smaller kids, then now it's like, dang, daddy, why you why you act like that? Why you respond that way? Wow. You know what I'm saying? My kids yeah. are dating. Why you respond that way? Why you, you know, you hate mom, you don't know. No, I don't. But I can't keep allowing things to happen, and you got to think this is okay. This is not okay for this type of behavior to happen. And I apologize for me responding to your mom that way. This is how people who love each other respond. Right, mm-hmm. so forgive daddy first for my side of the situation. You know what I'm saying? But again, it's definitely me and Jasmine was just getting back, and she's 18. Mm. From like 14 on, it, it was rough. Yeah, I couldn't even tell her to say I love you. Like the 
like hugging us like she really felt some type of way I, we did therapy all that like it was it's the type of stuff that, that causes issues and, and people don't understand how important it is when you step into a step parent role you gotta embody that shit yeah if you're yeah, not yeah. if you're not built for Mentally, this shit spiritually physically don't do it everything. you know what I'm saying you know the package I knew what it was about Tyson I individually spent time with Tyson Right. right, she did the same thing with Jazz, but then when her mom started kicking in and started throwing time, she started being resentful to that situation. Like, it was just her mom. You think she was the mom was ever going to kick in her time? Mm-hmm. So, with Tyson, of course, this situation is different. Jazz across the country, but I individually spent time with him. So, he just wanted to be loved and wanted a father figure. To mm-hmm. this day, yeah, Tyson's 22 years old. He's to this pilot. day, I whenever I see him, he still be like, I don't know what to call you, dad or Cliff. I said, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Like, the way we ended was abruptly. It was very. Yeah. Well, they turn up and like. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Mom said, if you ain't doing it this way. In between. Yeah. yeah, no. Yeah, if you ain't doing it this way, then fuck you. You can't fool him either. So for me to go pick up my kid, and I used to pick Tyson up too, yeah. and bring him with me, and then I go to him, and I'm like, you can't come. And he's like, why? And he like, you just can't come. And he just standing there looking at me from the doorway. I cried yeah, on the way home with my kid in the back. Yeah. Hey, that's your son. That's my son. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm tearing up now. That shit yeah. tore me up. I didn't have yeah, an answer. For, I don't have an answer for him. Mm-hmm. I had to wait till he get older for him to say, yo, I get it. And I blame my mom for a lot of this shit. And I'm like, yo, I mean, I really couldn't tell you that shit. You know what I mean? Even with my shit with my daughter. I can't tell you the, the tumultuous situation with your mom. You have to figure it out. I have to hold that shit in. I'm like, what the fuck is that about? I'm all he knows. Why would you keep him from me? You know what I'm saying? Why would you keep him from me? Especially if you want to be there. I want to be there. Right. I'm I'm doing doing everything. There be dads out there. And I want to be there. So that's that. That that tore me up. Yeah. You You guys are are wonderful, wonderful recipients of the Tyler Perry Award. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Because y'all, y'all, y'all suck that in and you keep it there and yeah. I'm just not built that out of that club, dog. I'm all about let's blow it all up and let's see what happens after the shrapnel hits. Because I'd be like, yo, you know why we can't do this? Because your mom said you can't come, dog. It ain't on me. I want you to come. Go talk. Yo, she right up there. Yo, tell your son why he can't come. Like, I'm... Uh, and But uh, you guys uh, fantastic, man. I applaud you. Because I... I Mm. I'm not going to be taking somebody else's stuff, yeah, that's tough. I don't, I don't want her to turn my kid on me. And she's done that before. I got that. She does, got she's done that. it before. I got so that. I, it's me saying, I do that. She's going to poison her against me. And this is my only child. Remember at the time, it's right. my only right. child. Right. right? I, didn't, I was told I could never even have any more kids after, after the dialysis. So this is it in mm-hmm. my brain. So I can't have her turn my only child on me because I did it to her. So I had to mm. walk that fine line, mm. right? Y'all see, I got the answers, but y'all see. And as they saw, they were like, oh yeah, we get it now. Mm. I ain't have to really, all I had to, for Jazz, all I had to do was she'll say something. And I'm like, that's that's what she said? She said, yeah, well, let me fill those areas in for you. Mm. Let me fill those gaps. Right. And she was like, oh, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I didn't really, I, let, me just, let me just put a little breadcrumbs right here and tell you how these things, these connected tissues come together. Mm-hmm. Give it oh, a context. I, 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 it makes sense now, Dad. Mm. And I step back. The rest is his. Whenever he asks, whenever you run and have a conversation, he asks whatever he asks. I connect those tissues for you. So that's me blowing up in a different way. That's kind of like, that's the button right there, though. <laughs> that's that real passive remote control stuff. Yeah. You're like, yeah. I'm not going to blow up, but uh, here's that button. Right. <laughs> You got in France and I'm going to watch. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Tony? You went through the same type of stuff, or yeah, man. yeah. Uh, Wait a minute, I'm about yeah. to get to get the Kleenex for this episode. Y'all niggas be bringing the feelings with you. <laughs> this, this is that dad game. This dad stuff. Yeah, man. I, I went, I went through it, man, and uh, it definitely messed up my relationship with my with my uh, son. Um. You know, I, I came into his life, and you know, I treat him uh, just like my own child. Yeah. You know, and I, I still love the ch- kid like my own son. You know, but I forgot both y'all did. That. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Okay. But, um, I yeah. totally forgot about it. Okay. Yeah. Back into a topic. Shit. 
It was Nick in camera, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's another story in itself. But yeah, good Woo! Woo! Yeah, yeah, for sure. yeah, but I'm... <laughs> yeah, man. So you know, after the divorce, you know, of course, he took his mom's side. I wish he knew the whole story. And um, man, there's so much stuff I just want to tell him, but. It was just make his mom look bad. Right. And there's no need for it because he's 22, 23. Right, right, right. Oh, he's like 23 years old. Yeah, I And, um, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah they, they, they played on the six year old team together. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Now that he's getting older, he's understanding more, but he's very much a mama's boy. Yeah. So he's always going to protect his mom. And that's, I always wanted him to be, you know, a protector of his mother. I mean, mm. to a certain point. But. One day the truth is going to come out. You know, it's going to see that, you know, his mom has mental health issues. You know, man, try to put me in jail in the reverse, and she got, she was, she was the one who went to jail. Mm. You know, it was, man. It's funny how I love you turned to I hate you real quick. That shit's so very thin yeah, line, man. Crazy. It's literally the same emotion. It's- she called my job, right? Oh, man. And, one of my tellers is like, hey, your wife is on the phone. She told me to put you on the phone. She's grabbing all your stuff and taking it outside. She said, come home right away. So I'm speeding. I'm excusing myself from the, from the office. Heading up to the house and all my shit's on the floor. I'm like, what the F? I go inside. She's yelling. You know, this is when we were already shaking. Right. Mm-hmm. We were talking about, you know, having an open marriage at that time. And she did mm-hmm. her thing, I did my thing, right? right. Open marriage, both agreed. But the short Will Smith? But the shorty, but the shorty I was talking to, we were just still chilling. You know what I mean? It was a one-time thing. But for her, it was a one-time thing with the dude, right? So, <clears throat> um, she, I guess she saw some text messages. Back in the days when it was like a Windows 95. Yeah. So she saw some of the... the you know, messages and she got upset. <clears throat> she trapped me in, in the in our closet, you know, grabbing all my stuff. And she kept, like, smacking me in the face. Mm. And I'm getting angry. You know what I mean? I'm getting angry. Right. And she's like, yeah, hit me. Hit me. Oh, come on. I dare you. And something in my head said, don't you touch me. Yeah, yeah man. Like, like I, yeah. you know, I, I'm not super religious, but I'm very spiritual. It's like somebody who's watching over me told me not to touch it. She ripped my, my work shirt, right, all the buttons off. Yeah, when she hit me, she scratched me a little bit. It wasn't that, that much, right? The cops came in. Oh, 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 oh. I've been here. <laughs> she called the cops before I even got there. Mm. Set up is wanted, real, though. <laughs> she, wanted, she wanted me to get arrested. But guess what? The cops talked to her in the garage. She talked Saw to me. Saw your face. Saw my face like, officer, I never touched her. You can ask my, my co-worker. She's the one who called. She told me to come and grab my stuff. And he saw her. Nothing was touched on her. Her shirt, nothing. She saw me. I'm the one who got beat up. And <laughs> Don't say in, that. No, no, no. in the car. Come on, relax. She was crying. <laughs> You know, that's that masculine side. Bubble, bubble, bubble on the nose. <laughs> and I was like, and I'm thinking, I'm, I'm looking at the time. It's like, man, Nick is gonna be home soon. Right. And the house is torn up, like stuff all over the living room. You know what I mean? Stuff that I had like like plastic bag. Yeah, just the, it was a tough one. Yeah, I, you know I can go further, yeah. but the the visual know. of that alone when the kid comes home. And mommy there. That, that was the biggest part I was worried about. Right, what is right. Nick and, and my yeah. and our daughters going to think? think. Uh, right. I didn't care about me and her. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It was just like you, protective of our kids. All right. Like, what are the kids going to do? Safe. So I was like, started cleaning up. She called her mom. Her mom called her auntie, sister, came to the house. Mm-hmm. What's going on? I'm like, look, I don't know, but I got to clean this house. The kids are coming so mm-hmm. That's all I care about, you know? Of course, it's her family because you know I have no, no physical family here. Right. So it's her family. You Make know. You feel guilty, probably. Exactly. Yeah. Questioning me like like they're popos. Right, right. But you know, not nasty because they, they were nice to me and all and always was. But I understand that's their. You know, take sides. Right, right. Daughter, niece. That's sister. understood. 
I went to Beverly a couple of days later, you know, I was like, I don't even want her now. She stood at her mom's house for a week. Mm. Wrote me a letter, da, 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 I'm sorry, take me back. Right. I'm looking at the kids. You know, now I'm doing everything because the both kids are with me. Mm-hmm. Think about it. My stepson and mm-hmm. my daughter mm-hmm. with me. So I'm trustworthy enough to have both kids by myself. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Man, I can I can go to rabbit hole with this, but you go to that, that, you're not trustworthy, doesn't it? No all matter what of a you sudden, do, as a guy, bro, they don't, and you, they don't never see what, it as a viable what, option, yo. That's what I try to implement to Nick when we had conversations after the divorce, and he was upset, and he thought my boy was awesome. I was like, let's go back to the beginning and look at the timeline. Right. You know what I mean? Right. <clears throat> wow. What, what did I ever do to you that I was out of place? You know, to make you, to, to make you feel like I was a bad guy. Right. You know what I mean? Ain't got no answer. No answer. I was there for baseball. I was there for football. I was there for basketball. You know, all year round. I was like, screw this. You know, I was like, all that effort. You're not gonna show me no love. So I was upset at him too. But now I'm older. I understand. We talked about it. We're in a better place, but not the same. You know? yeah, never, it's, it's, it's never going to be the same. It's like a pause that break and you put it in the crack. It's yeah. still there. It's never going to be quite yeah. how You got to be careful. You can't talk about his mom around. Right, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Right. Wow. Yeah, you guys, uh, y'all definitely walk the walk. Um, it's tough, man. That step shit is a different beast. Though. It is. I personally, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm not as good as you guys. <laughs> You guys, like, you guys got me second-guessing how I made decisions based on, on my own kid. Because <laughs> I'm like, damn. I had questions. Like, I'm always, I'm always like, you know, fuck that. I'm not going to be no Tyler Perry. I ain't going to forgive nothing. Yo, I'm letting, I'm going to blow the spot every time you, you get in my waters. I'm sick of your battle shit. That was my way of dealing with stuff. And even Melba could attest to this. Um... You know, it's not on a on a step level, but me and my son were was estranged. You know, coming from a situation where, you know, I was there for every first he did except for his first step. You know, I was there when he first cried, first opened his eyes, I changed his first diaper, I gave him his first kiss, I was the first one in the hospital. I remember seeing a picture stuff. of you like in the shower with him. Exactly, like, my football hold. He used to yeah, sit yeah, yeah, in yeah. my arm. I remember that. You know, and you know, his first word was touchdown and his very next word was dada. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I was there for everything. And then when me and his mom uh, separated and divorced, um, it turned into you know, his, her house versus my house. But then I had him every other day, every other weekend. So I was still in his life as much as humanly possible. I was there for everything. And his mom's was a grade A certified liar. Liar. And it got to the point, yeah, liar. I think it's that, liar. Re- I think it's that reason. Liar. Something about that the state. Is, your wife. Oh, your ex-wife and my ex-wife were... Well, well, they, actually, they, actually... They all were. Actually... It's one of the best attorneys. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean that's talking. why we're here today. Oh, like this. Winning! They <laughs> <laughs> was talking... Yeah. yeah. They don't even talk to each other now. You know what I mean? They yeah. all, all split up. Yeah, yeah so... But, um... Yeah, so it, it had got to the point where... Um... Bro, she would tell a straight... And that's what it became. She would tell a straight lie. And all I would have to do, like, two would be on the other side of the room. And she wouldn't know that he was over it because it, it would be at my house. And she lied about something that he knows that she told him one side. I asked a question. Now she's saying something else. And then as soon as she say the lie, I'm like, hey, two. And she's like, don't bring him into this. I was like, nah, nigga, you lying. I'm like, dude, come in. <laughs> so he coming out, and she be like, I ain't got to stand here for this. And then she tried to roll out. I was, And I looked at him, you know, seven, eight years old. I'm like, you heard it, right? And he was like, yeah. I said, so who told the truth? He said, you told the truth, Dad. Who lied? Mom lied. Damn. Who lied? Mom lied. So you know who lied? <laughs> like, I was, yeah. I was hearing it. <laughs> so, so... For me, it was more so I wanted him to have clarity from the jump. 
you know, and I didn't even think about like you guys. And I, I guess it's different when you have girls and there's more of a there, there's an emotional pull type of thing. But you guys were the stepfathers to boys. Right. Mm -hmm. So but my you know, for me, it was just like, look, although it's you know, it's all about there's feelings and stuff in this. The truth was the most important thing to me. And I was like, I don't care who gets hurt as long as the truth is out. And at once cost, I, I didn't think about that. And and, and that was the cause. It's, because it's, yeah, the when, it, when everything, you know, was all said and done and he chose to go with his mom because, you know, I was the disciplinarian. Me, oh yeah, yeah. It hurt. It absolutely hurt. Yeah. But even even within that, I was like, you know what? I know my role. And I'm not gonna be something that he wants me to be just to be that you know he, i'm gonna be like a, a filler. filler like a filler right yeah and i'm a pillar i'm not a filler so Ooh, right when, he turns, right, right? <laughs> when he it's turns right <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make a t-shirt so no matter what you know as far as he gets in life he comes back i'm gonna be the same i, I it's gonna be that so you know i actually once he left to go with his mom to oregon like after the whole situation and all that went down, I didn't even speak to my child that I had 50-50 custody every other day and every other weekend, every other holiday um, that I had like that. I went almost four years and never heard from him. We couldn't even mention his name around you. Like, nah, bro. Nah, fuck that. That's Malcolmus. <laughs> But, you know, it was, it had turned into, um, you know, I thought that it was going to be something else. But not, not on the emotional side, but I, you know, you watch movies and you watch all this stuff. And then the kid comes back and it's like, you weren't there for me and shit like that. Yeah. And I would tell my brother all the time, I was like, let her, <laughs> let her. The only reason why I still lift weights is because when he gets grown, if he opens his mouth like that, I'm a punch him in his throat. That, that was it. I was like, I am ready to punch him in his throat if he gets bigger and comes back to this me and says, I was a damn moment. He want to fight him. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, I want answers. Pow. And this wasn't was DBA too. This, this was like, like when he came, came to Atlanta, Atlanta the, the last time. Yeah. yeah like, we had this conversation this year. <laughs> well, last year. <laughs> but yeah. Because yeah, the, um, the year, oh, he's He's about to be 20. 28. 28. Well, when he was turning 18, uh, was the first time that I seen him since yep. he came for the wedding. <laughs> and that was 2017. So, wow. yeah. So, and this whole time I was thinking, yo, if he come back and he pops that stuff, yo, now I'm telling you, I'm hitting him dead <laughs> in his throat. I'm going to drop him in the airport. Like, I was ready. Even when I picked him up from the airport, I'm warmed up and shit. I got Posturing. Woo! Woo! Stretched out the neck, got all the stiffness out, and I was like, yo, I'm ready. He just, Let him. He just gave you a hug. He, he did. 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 Yeah, they're, they're quick to try to manipulate a thing away from the truth to make themselves look better or bigger than they were. And That's what, what makes nigga Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were two peas in a pod oh, with that shit. The same Mine's was too. Yeah. <laughs> Yours was different. <laughs> Yours was on a different yeah. level yeah. together, yeah. y'all. She had a power-up. <laughs> yeah, she got <laughs> she had some Mario <laughs> Brother power-up. She oh, said, power the sky blue, I'm like, I'll be right back. Let me go look for myself. Fuck that, man. Yeah. Ours hit the power of mushroom. Yeah. Hers, his hit the star. He just hit the power of mushroom. He hit mushrooms bouncing off the fucking coolness. It's a shit batter. I'm like, God, no. All the rainbow is coming out, boy. She was like, can't fuck with me now. Definitely different up. Oh, man. But yeah, man, it's tough. It, it, it's definitely tough. And, you know, once again, I definitely commend you guys because, you know, although I've seen it, you know, just hearing y'all talk about it today, it, it's a whole different 
chord, it's a whole different level that it hits on. Because it's like, you know, you you always get the outside view, yeah. which the outside view is almost completely inundated with the mom side. Right. You know, oh, woe is me. I'm the hero and the victim at the same time. Right. And this guy is just what caused the problem. And that view is given because you guys are good men. Because instead of y'all being worried about what everybody else thinks, y'all are the ones that are concerned with the kids' mentality and the kids' welfare. Exactly so you you stomach and you sacrifice and you guys do everything you can to make sure those kids are shielded. And I truly, truly commend you. Not only because it's a great thing you did, but because I'm less of a man because I couldn't do it. <laughs> I was like, yo, I'm ready to hit my kid in the throat. <laughs> was, listen, man, there was times that I wanted to curse my ex-wife out in front of the kids and all that stuff. And the things that she used to say was just horrible, man, for kids to, to hear. Right, and right. I just kept my mouth quiet because the kids are watching. They shouldn't be listening to none of this or saying right, this. Right, You know, yeah. and I'm like, I'm going to let her look like a fool. And I'm just going to reserve myself and, you know, say it at the right time. You know, I'm like... Yeah. It, it broke my heart, you know. My my, my kids' feelings, uh, you know. That's why my my daughter's in therapy now, you know. It's it's just she's having a tough time. Yeah, man. Well, looks like we don't have to do what you had today. Good job. Uh, I'm <laughs> telling you, that was it. Wow, wow, guys. I mean, it's amazing, but. You know, speaking of therapy, I'm glad you brought that up. You don't go right to us, <laughs> right to us, go to us, go to shit. I'm and glad you brought up the therapy. Yeah, 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 all the questions. We like, hey, have about a need some therapy. <laughs> Would you rather let your kid die or a person? Let the next one Gentlemen, it's that notorious time again. It's time for Would You Rather, the segment where I give the judge some questions or I give this judge some scenarios. And they have to pick the scenario. They are allowed to ask questions. And I can give them answers, but they have to pick one or the other. They cannot say they'll just die, or they cannot say that they won't do it. They still have to pick one. Kamish, we good? Everybody got the rules? No more? We ain't gonna question the rules and say, I don't ever say that? Can okay. you change the circumstance once an answer is given? I can change the circumstance. Yeah. Oh, 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 let me go. Go. Although, although, although yeah, I will, you weren't supposed to give him that. I yeah. will not change the circumstance unless the parties that are asking the questions attempt to change the circumstance of the questions. What? Okay. So in other words, if I say if I say you got a fucking duck and you say okay, well instead of fucking a live duck, I want a fucking dead duck. Well then I'll say now the dead duck got AIDS. So that kind of thing. <laughs> wow. That's the bullshit. That's the bullshit. Now, now if you just leave it as a duck, I won't add nothing else to it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I'd rather be clear before we get started. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, comedian C.J. Trowers, big tone, heavy duty cutie, and it's so not funny saying cutie though. Right. <laughs> Sleep dog, way out of soul cap. Would you rather perform cunnilingus on a woman until she orgasms in your mouth and you swallow it all, and she makes you sign a disease waiver? Telling you she has something, but won't tell you what it is. We got all that? Or. <laughs> it comes with a butt rate. Now, nah, you take a bath with 25 angry piranha and an electric eel with a meat necklace on for two hours and win $100. What what the last one? Goes. <laughs> the you should. It doesn't matter. I know that was in it before. He oh, put the meat that clip. Right. Yeah. 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 You're gonna be dead. Right. Right. He's he throwing extra shit. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. that shit was in it before. At the end of the day, I was. Hey, I was watching back that Jay yeah. that Jay Z one. 
There was some money attached exactly. to that one. Exactly. You, 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 you put money, money on this one, one too, okay? Hey. I don't hey. know the money being that one either. This is money attached to this shit and meat that As Confucius says, yesterday's price is not today's price. That's fat Joe, nigga. God damn it. That's fat Joe. That's Confucian. Fat Joe got it from Confucius. He read one of them for you. the last one again. The last one they got it. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to say the whole thing again. Would you rather perform cunnilingus on a woman until she orgasms in your mouth and you swallow it all and she makes you sign a disease waiver, but she doesn't tell you what she has. Or you take a bath with 25 angry piranha and an electric eel with a raw meat necklace for two hours and you win a hundred bucks. I'm going with eight. What's a hundred? What's a hundred bucks for band aids? <laughs> Pants? <laughs> Alcohol to, to make you feel like you did you want something. <laughs> oh, so you're going with hey, you you gonna go down on the dirty chick yep. and and she got something. Yep. And she just gush and you just um, yum 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 yum. See, no. So say the first one again so if I get my answer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was, no, 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 I want I gotta figure I'm looking for loophole. <laughs> so I gotta hear it. I got a loophole in my head. Okay, gay. Right. Okay. Perform, the, same, the first one. That's okay, it. just the first one. Perform cunnilingus on a woman until she orgasms in your mouth and you swallow it all and she makes you sign a disease waiver but doesn't tell you what she has. In other words, what disease she had. See, I was the swallow paw. I was waiting to see if he said that shit. So he did say it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how, that's what I need to hear. Um, shit. <laughs> all right, so good. Oh, no, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. He is. Let him work it out. <laughs> hey, one, one more question. Uh huh. Are we still bracket style or are these? Are no, no, this is bracket. These yeah, are, older. yeah, these are older. He's yeah. added to it. I want to hear Mel's answers first. <laughs> yeah. Because he's logical. <laughs> Mel don't want to answer because they ain't got nothing to do with protect the booty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very logical. That's why I'm Googling cunnilingus right now. <laughs> <laughs> Eating pussy. Yeah, yeah bro. Is it? Yeah, he's, is it? Yeah, he doesn't care. He's a big bird and shit to throw you off. This is eat pussy. No, no, no. Because I thought cunnilingus was eating ass. No, no, no. No. No, it's vagina. It's the opposite of fellatio. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you thought you had an easy one there, didn't you? <laughs> it's Greek. <laughs> the, the root word <laughs> Lingus <laughs> Cunts and I'm, lingus I'm usually, I'm usually pretty good at I'm usually pretty good at spelling But Google was not picking up what <laughs> So what you got man uh, Antonio already take, swallowing disease so Yeah um yeah, he's still bracket style too. <laughs> yeah, because you know what happens? The winner moves on with some, some practice, practice, which means it gets even better. Oh, since it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's still bracket, bracket style, style. Are, are people in the, in the room, room are the only, only ones, ones competing? competing? Meaning, if it's one to two, are you going to add another vote in to make it a tie? You can use this over again. If it's a unanimous, then it's a winner. If there's a break, we didn't do that last time. We did do yeah, it last time. That's where y'all had the problem because it was two to one. So that's and what I'm you, saying. And then you added an extra vote. In order exactly. To make you come out the committee. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. Hold on. No, no, no. 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 Okay, okay. <laughs> Four weeks ago, I was fucking around with the committee with the Mike Tyson. Last week, it was the the, the, the Minty. Well, yeah, the week before. Three weeks ago, it was the Minty Catholic priest one, yeah. and these two said that they was going to um, do one thing, and Mel, you said you want to do something else. So it was a two-to-one break. So that's when I was like, hey, well, the committee says either one of us can come back because it's not unanimous. So, and we never said it to be unanimous. This one. 
It's two to one. It's, that's how numbers work. Then, there's four people in the room. No, you the answer. answer. You the answer. You the moderator. I understand that, but I'm telling you what the committee said that I have oh, to do. No, nah, I am but the commissioner. I don't own the team. So you can't claim there's four niggas in the room. There's three niggas that get to talk. Well, I, know, I am Goodell. Yeah, man. I am man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Listen, I'm not the Kaepernick this shit. Hey, hey now we're getting off the subject. Now we're using that new math. Right. Yeah, man. Yeah, this, this is the line, lines and boxes, 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 boxes and, and spirals and shit in the math. Come on. We only got one right. answer. So is it is it unanimous or is it majority? Unanimous. You can't. Unanimous. I said it. That's not three fair. Weeks ago. That's not fair. Why don't they fair? There's only three, three of us. Wait a minute. Weren't all three of us and four of us in fucking tears a second ago talking about how life ain't fair? Life ain't fair, nigga. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> We're gonna fly that to this shit. I shoot fair. Right. <laughs> Let's cool. go. Cool. So. By committee standards, we're <laughs> officially <laughs> forming. We're officially forming a union. Right. So what is what is our union voice say? Oh uh, well, being right. that, Since being that the majority of us yeah, are sure here, answer now. we're in Georgia, which is an at will state. No union. <laughs> no union. No, no problem. I know how to proxy a vote. <laughs> So what are we doing, man? We eating bad coochie or we, we getting eaten by piranhas? What are we doing? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, fellas. I'm taking my chances with the piranhas. <laughs> and, and the eel? And the eel. With, with the, the meat. Hours. With the meat. With, with, the, meat. with, with the meat necklace. With so, I mean, the eel, the, the, eel, the eel is just for effect. The eel is not going to do anything. <laughs> So if you're in the tub butt naked with nothing conducting the electricity, the eel is just going to be floating around. They don't bite. Yeah. Now the piranhas, the piranhas, that's a whole different problem. For two hours. For two hours. You sushi. After a, certain, after a certain point, you're not even going to feel anything anymore. Little teeth. It's not going to be nothing left. This motherfucker is going to be paralyzed. Right. You're going to hit the right vein. Like, like, right 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 even more so. Bite me. Even more so. It's not like I got to sit there and let them bite me. I can smack them off. You, you can try. Piranhas? It is like 100. 25. It's 25. You know how fast yeah. the niggas move? Yeah. They splash see, on that water? In a tub. Hey, so. See, see, y'all, y'all are walking. He's, like, he's acting like, like this fool. He's not realistic. Y'all, Y'all are walking right into what Baco wants you to walk into. Now you're, you're, you're trying, trying to think of all the different the, the different scenarios. Just look at it, right? Sometimes, Sometimes the answer is right there on the surface. It sure is. It's what? What is the answer? Piranhas. So, what are you doing? I think I know what the strategy is. <laughs> so, you you uh, going to eat the disease, Koji? You're going to have herpes in your throat. <laughs> your life. And trichomonas. You, you cool with that? Gunneria of the tongue. <laughs> and I'm syphilis of the tonsils. AIDS. AIDS, but. I'm worried about that. If. That's what I'm worried about. Hey, <laughs> that's what I'm worried about. You, ain't got, you don't got Magic Johnson money, so right. you ain't getting the Magic Johnson hit. Right. You getting that? You getting that normal hit? Yeah, but I there's Travada for prep and stuff, so you can just go and I'm getting all the ass shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got the sound view, right? The, the Tommy Morrison. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's a great champ. champ. He was a great champ. Uh, <laughs> oh. So Antonio's slurping up the uh, syphilis, boy. No. He's gobbling up the guns. No. So you going for honor now? I'm thinking. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> you said the go. first one real quick. You like, hey. Even, even, even more so. So, I mean, they're, they're small fish, so how much of you can they really eat? And yeah, only you, see you see how sharp yeah. they are? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We're talking about six, them. six to nine inch diameter of fish. 25 of them in the bathtub and they can eat one and a half times their weight a piece so they what roughly the only get maybe 10 to 12 ounces so they're only going to eat about a pound and three quarters a piece 25 of them 
So you're looking at them eating roughly so about said, 75 pounds said, out of your ass. Yeah. I can you use right that, legs I, can, I can use that 75 pounds of off me. They're tearing up your nuts. They're tearing up your, your penis. I can, I, can, I, can, I can cover all that with my hands. Again, he is a bald He would be so damn broad. Yeah, he would be all bald. So white me. Oh, white me. I love this one. What you say? The eels got to be aggravated for them to do that shit? They be agitated before they You don't think you're going to be acting like, yo, what's all this going on? Did y'all not hear me say oh, angry for to me? Yeah. That's, That's what they say about so. the eel, though. Even, even more so. You're eating the meat. You got a meat like this around your neck. They, you don't think they're going to go after that first? Uh, first of all, we're not talking about a, a, a old, dirty, massive Wu-Tang Jesus piece. We're talking about like 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 a, like a, what do you call that? Yes. Like Catholic church. The, uh, yes. the rosary. Like yes. little little like, bits, like a little cross, yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, hey, little, little even, pieces of meat around it. Even even if one or two of them go after them, that seventy five pound number goes down. Yeah, so by then, by ounces, not by pounds. Either <laughs> way, that either way, I'm taking my chances. And also, a you you a little bit no, off. No 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 no. no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just hitting you. I'm hitting you with a with a nature fact. You're a little bit off on the electric eels. Electric eels, if they are touched by something that has an electric current, their entire body yep. emits up to 250,000 volts of electricity. Yep. So, yeah, you you going to get buzzed. If you going to get buzzed, you, you get buzzed. Now, you, you, be, you, be, you, be, you be numb, so you won't feel the piranhas no more, but you going to get lit up. <laughs> well, well, the piranhas yeah, get yeah, hard time. Huh? Well, the piranhas get fucked up, too. There is a chance that the piranhas touch the eel and get zapped too. That's what I mean. But it's not, it's it's a resistive uh, voltage. So it's not like um, like alternating current where if you're getting zapped and I touch you, I get zapped too. No, I can hit you off of the source and you're not going to get zapped. It's not going to keep bouncing around. Right, and it's not pulsating. It's direct current. So it's just when an when a electric eel hits you, it hits you until you let it go. It's just I was thinking about the wrong thing. Damn. I was just thinking about that. You think about the wrong thing. The only thing that you should be thinking about is if <laughs> Perky splurge, splurge up in your throat. That's all you should be thinking about. <laughs> Everybody's had a sore throat before. What's wrong with a little boomy boom? What a herpy in your throat. <laughs> That's what you call out for a week. Right. You got a doctor's note. Okay, we got two more, fellas. What are we doing? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> I try to ask yeah. an impossible question. Yeah. Uh, Think about it like this. Yeah. If we go against whatever he said, <laughs> we we'll just, we'll just go with what he said. Yeah. No, you don't yeah. just go with what he said. You, 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 you did say that to be unanimous. It works. That's how you and him works. So, with that being said, <laughs> that being said, no, we're we're not not even gonna be even fun. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Piranha. Piranha. Let's go. Okay. Piranha. So, Piranha wins, which means Piranha's going to come oh, back. That's right. Good job, Bill. <laughs> Guess who's going against Tyson? <laughs> nah, I'm just going to take Piranha. Let's still take the Piranha. Okay. So, we got unanimous. Yes. We're going right. to spend two hours with 25 Piranhas in the bath. Yep. I'm going to elevate my ass over the bathtub. Yo, y'all ain't got to have to worry about having no more kids ever again. Because after they, they finish the meat, like, the meat necklace, they're going to go after the sausage. I'm eating my, I'm going to shit myself so bad in that, in that <laughs> bath. Hey, give them some options. Give them Piranha some options. He said, give them some options. Hey, get that Piranha some options. You know, Piranha's live in dark, murky, scummy water. That's cool. So, that doesn't yeah, yeah, really hurt them. Let me add to what I got to You're just making it so now you're going to have sepsis. Like, you are going to give yourself dysentery from your own shit going into the wounds that the Piranha have inflicted. Okay. I'm going to the Indian restaurant and tear that shit up. And then that, that dysentery is going to tear you up. It's okay. I, I'm still... Okay. I'm going to at least take one okay. out. I'm going to take at least one out, bro. <laughs> 25 what? Out of 25? Whatever. Okay, well, you at least have $100, so you can go out and... Uh, $100 and 75 pounds like. <laughs> okay. So we got the piranhas. Okay, number two. Have your balls slowly cut off while your son's penis is cut off, or wake up every morning, wake up every morning with a different dude's nutsack after orgies with streetwalkers in your mouth. 
just because and daddy don't, don't want to take a, a, a couple balls to the jaws in the morning. Life, every morning? <laughs> every morning. And then you can have orgies with God's help too? Nah. Well, you're not swallowing no baby, man. You just got to get, you know, a couple tea back. Oh, oh, oh. Every day. Pause. <laughs> 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 okay, ML, what'd you pick? Easy, hey. You, you, no, see, you about to cheat. That's, he was like, I ain't got no boy, so I don't worry about it. That's right. That's why yeah. it's easy for me. But you're still getting your nuts hacked off. I already got a detectomy. All right, came a detectomy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have any idea what a penis with no balls looks like? You know. <laughs> <laughs> As, as, as long as the penis is still there. <laughs> okay. Give me some uh, double sided tape. <laughs> yeah, hey, boo. <laughs> Do what? What's on my back? He's like, hey, hey. whatever. Son. Hey. <laughs> cut, cut the balls off a plastic dildo and tape them to where balls used to be. Get that gorilla glue, man. The gorilla glue. I heard it, it works well. You guys are so really I, thinking about these, though. And no choice. I had to go That's what you wanted. That's what you wanted. He's throwing shit. We got to throw shit. Yeah, he's some shit. Okay. All right. So that's a unanimous too? Yeah, that's what we got to do, it, right? Yeah. According to your rules. Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> you know what it's like? It's bullshit, bro. Right, it should be at least two to one. It should be. Majority. Majority rule. Okay. <laughs> so, that's how, that's, that's, that's how democracy so works. Right? Remember what happened So we got disease one. in the throat. Remember what happened to Trump? Disease in the throat. Uh-huh. Um, no. Y'all said the, ang- the, the angry piranha. Mm-hmm. So we got the angry piranha. No balls having. Yep. And we move on to number three. Yeah. Gentlemen. All right. All right. Would you rather have each of your fingers smashed by a giant meat tenderizing hammer dipped in unhealthy crackhead blood? Always some shit. That <laughs> wasn't <laughs> There was no shit in that one. No shit in that one. I got it. All right, well, let's, let's be. Or, <laughs> or, give head to hey, all. You don't even got to finish. Hey. <laughs> I, I, was, I, would, I would pause, but I, so, I want to see how ridiculous this shit going to get. Go ahead. I'm... <laughs> you got to finish. I, <laughs> Why do we even got to go down there, bro? <laughs> because you know not motherfucker put extra fucking sunshine on all this shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on, stop, man. Y'all make me tear up again, man. It's crazy. Why did you give head to a crackhead and he give you a million dollars out of it? Okay. Would you rather have each of your fingers smashed by a giant meat tenderizing hammer dipped in unhealthy crackhead blood or give head to a... crackhead blood, but I'm saying head. I digress. What is healthy crackhead blood? Or... That's a It's a mu... That's oxymoron, but they, they could be a new crackhead. Like, they just started. A uh, rookie. It's a rookie crack. Don't get stuff up that shit. No. <laughs> it's still hepatitis for me. You know, like they say, once you're an alcoholic, you're always an alcoholic. It could be somebody a reform, a crackhead reform. It's not tears. It could be old crackhead. It's not tears in a fucking crackhead, nigga. One tear, two tear, nigga. So if you get that nigga's hepatitis immediately, nigga. Hey, you go from you go from model, you go from model citizen to pookie after the first. Day. Exactly. All right, let's go to the second one. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me get it out, y'all. Would you rather have each of your fingers smashed by a giant meat tenderizing hammer dipped in unhealthy crackhead blood or give head to a horse and swallow one full load of semen from the tap every other day for 10 years? For how long? You don't have to finish that shit. For how long? She said 10 years? It was a fucking home as a home equity line? You can tell he wanted this damn shit. You can tell he wanted to get that shit on so bad. He said, wait, this question is the equivalent of, of ironing your clothes and letting it shit out of the bed. Wait till they see this shit. That's what that nigga did. Wait till they hear this question. Yeah. He laid this shit out this on the bed. I had to start. Right. I sure do. I sure do. I'm going to kill him with this one. Hell yeah. I sure do. I take him back to the side of the mirror like, oh, this shit going to kill him. You think it's going to kill him. I, I sure do. All right, fellas. I oh, sure uh, On three. I guess we all have the same answer. One, two, three. A. A. 
That's it. <laughs> hey, it is. <laughs> Hold on. Everybody get the effect. Of the no, 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 no. We got it. We got it. We got it. It's pretty good. We got it. Yeah. Mr. Ed is the fuck up out of here. Yeah. See, this you gotta go. I'll take Mike Tyson over there. <laughs> Facts. I might really do that. <laughs> this motherfucker said 10 years. ten years. I did say 10 years. I, I said every other day. No, you said. So ten. technically, that's five years. You said 10 years. I heard 10 years. I heard it 10 years. Real low, though. Nigga, that shit was the fine print. For right. 10 years. <laughs> oh, no, I don't to fill my damn stomach up. You ever seen a fucking horse nut? Them niggas that shit is like a 17 gallon. gallons. Them niggas is boss. Oh, I'm saying, I'm not doing that shit every day for 10 years. Never. Hell no. Oh, my stomach hurts. You sure? <laughs> Are you sure, nigga? Hey, your stomach hurting just from laughing. Think about 10 years worth of semen. <laughs> you won't ever be hungry. That's a lot of pressure. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. Boss. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. Crackhead blood it is. So we're taking... <laughs> 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 smash okay. So we're blood. taking the smash fingers so you yeah. never have you see your fingers yeah. ever again. Yeah. Whatever. That's fine. And you're risking whatever disease going in through there, so you... It's okay. It's all right. the, the, the disease that you avoided in the first one, you just got from the crackhead anyway. Why not? So... You got to watch I get it. He's losing the crack, crack game. <laughs> so I said he could be. Uh, I said he could be. I'm going to treat him like a fucking zombie. I'll, I'll cut the crack pipe. Oh, 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 crack it. Get that pain. Hey, so if they're mutilated, must just go ahead and go ahead and cut them off and get them prosthetics. Give me bionic, so, give me bionic fingers. So y'all so can stop the shit out the crackhead. Who's up? blood that shit? Yo, you can oh, tell wow. he's been waiting two weeks for this one. Yeah, 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 this is the first time I've ever seen this. He said that shit for last. Pause, nigga, boy. I don't know what that was. He said he's ready to get that horse shit off. Right. Right. Get that horse shit off. Right. Right. Get that no, he was right. shaking when he was saying it. He was shaking. He said, let me just say it. Let me just say it. That's why. Hey, that horse shit was his grand finale. He could win. That one was good. Man. That was his fucking red yeah. jazz hands. Like, ah. Okay, okay so. <laughs> yeah, we, let me see what you're going to say to this shit, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so y'all, y'all are picking the crackhead <coughs> over the horse and swallow one full load of semen in front of the tap every other day. Look, trying to get it out. No. We can't. We can't. We can't even see it. <laughs> we trying to get the whole shit out. No, we can't even see it. Niggas in the comments are going to bring the same shit. <laughs> I got people saying, don't answer that shit. I was like, nah, I got to. Like, Mark, what would you do? Oh, yeah, you know you don't never answer that shit. Oh, shit. You gonna answer. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So you mean, what would I do besides uh, give head to a horse and follow a full load of team and tap every other day? He can't even get you know it out. You know what we should do? We should call the mic and put on speaker. Like, right. What would you do? <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh man, that that was good. <laughs> oh, that was good. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Yeah. So one man oh, show. So you have the show. So man, after the show, the union is coming. Tickled, though. This is great. <laughs> Come on, <with> union bylaws. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We gonna be we gonna be ready for you next week. Okay. The union. All right, so the union is strong. <laughs> Okay, so we're making our own flag. So right. that's all right, because there's going to be a whole new set of rules for this said union. <laughs> okay, all right. So to to wrap up, so we're taking the 25 angry piranhas. We're taking the uh, uh, the balls slowly cut off while your son's penis is cut off. Yep. And you're taking the smash fingers yep. uh, dipped in unhealthy crackhead blood. Over the head to the horse that you saw one full load. <laughs> you can't wait to get that shit off. I hope YouTube fuck around block that shit just like that shit. That's so, hey, you this shit. Oh, that was, oh, the animal lovers coming. Oh, the animal lovers come in and they block that sound. Bite. Peter, 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 gonna take me out. Because I keep bringing up swallowing one little horse. <laughs> 
can't nah. say shit no more. You gonna, you gonna try to offend our, our viewers in Africa <laughs> and Asia and shit? You know what I mean? That might be part of their shit, man. Come on, bro. You gonna have horses in Piedmont kick his ass. <laughs> He's like, I heard you been talking about us. Okay, y'all. Uh, enough for giving a head to the horses and small one full on the sea, man. You're gonna take it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up this episode. <laughs> Would you rather? This nigga fucking died. Hit man. the like button. Even Bring it out. Subscribe and leave in the comments how Stop they're wrong. Don't do it. He wants, he wants to get that shit all over the head. Give a hand to the horse and <laughs> take the seat in for the sack. <laughs> all the horse animal lovers, please yes. put your comments, put your comments put, on, on the show. Put your thoughts. God, why is that so funny to me, man? I don't God, know. We don't, we don't know. No. Because you don't have to answer. Because you don't have to answer. That's why. Oh, oh, I'm done. He's been thinking about oh, the back of the Black Stallion right. this whole time Ooh. for two weeks. Ooh. Yes, indeed. Were you watching uh, horse movies I'm the bad guy. last weekend or something? I must have been. I must have been to come up with a horse, give a head to a horse and tell him about It's the 10 years for me. Like, where did that arbitrary number come yeah. from? If it was a one time thing, I'm like, it's, it's not 10 years, <laughs> yeah, <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> Not if it was a one-time thing, you'd be brilliant. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I might spin shot it a little bit. That's what they told to say. You don't want to let us see each other again. It's going one time, dude. <laughs> Like me and I was gonna see each other at a racetrack, and I'm betting against the motherfucker. Like, ass nigga, suck my dick. Hold on now. You gonna bet for me, nigga? What? Is, is that a before or after you give a head and swallow? I'm gonna see. Yo, that one alone, I lost two and a half pounds, man. Just from laughing. Oh, oh God. I that oh oh I applaud you guys. That that was good, man. Oh, I need. Oh, thank you for that, ladies and gentlemen. Officially, that's that's right. <laughs> what you rather for this week? Uh, tune in next week, and we're gonna uh, we got a couple more to, so we round out the uh, the second round, and we get into the third round. So uh, watch, uh, like, comment, subscribe, mostly comment. Let us know what you think of. What's going on? Tell here. your friends. And Tell we'll your see. friends. Share this video, man. Yeah, all that. You know, if you're sentimental on the first half, watch the first half. If you're just a toxic masculine type dude, watch the second <laughs> half. <laughs> That's how it goes. Oh, my God. Yeah, right from the heartfelt shit to this shit. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, I mean, that was hard. Right. Right. thinking and bro, yeah, you know, shit. We over here reflecting. We're, we're trying on. to hold our tears right. right. This nigga called us. The horse, horse stuff at us. And the funny part is, he knew it was coming. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. He's trying to act like he's yeah. yeah. like a goddess counselor. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good, guys. Hell yeah. yeah. Go deep in. By the way, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> you got would you rather? Right way. <laughs> you know, you know, you watch TV on the on the, on the later on in the episode. Yeah. Wait till these motherfuckers answer about horse penis. That's what it should sound like. <laughs> we talking it down the bottom of the screen, the ticker tape. Everybody else at home can see what we about to. See. <laughs> Hashtag Peter. Right. Uh, up next after this break. <laughs> Sponsored by Would you swap? Would you give horse head to a horse and swallow one load of the horse every other day? Six, 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 ten years. This shit's yeah. gonna be sponsored by dog food. Right. right. After this shit. That horse is gonna be cut up. It's gonna be sponsored by a Kentucky Derby. <laughs> Get the horses to run fast. <laughs> sponsored oh, by Elmer's glue. Hell yeah, that's yeah. Oh man. It's a ten years. Oh, Ten bro. years, Malcolm. <laughs> really? <laughs> he said that shit so nonchalant, so oh, like, damn. so low. You know what I mean? What? Ten, Ten years, years, bro. Oh my god. That's, That's what you know. He wanted us to have it. Yeah. You know what I mean? He just wanted to get that off. He just wanted to get. He just had to get that off. 
I did. <laughs> if you were to say once, you yo, know, that's been holding for two weeks, though. <laughs> that's that's almost blue ball territory. <laughs> <laughs> so blue ball. This nigga been seeing his three o'clock running his hands here like a fucking bill. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, you super get here early. You put his clothes on Texas. That's, that's why I already had the uniform well before y'all walked. I was like, let's do it. Now I'm ready to go. Oh man, that was great. So. Man, any, <laughs> anything else going on? I'm sorry to all the horses <laughs> that, that was injured in this joke. <laughs> all the horses <laughs> that were harmed or pleasured <laughs> in this episode. <laughs> pause, definitely pause. I'm taking sponsorships for OTBs. <laughs> Hell no. Oh, man. We go from step children to a horse. Only Malcolm. Shenanigans. Only this is what happens when 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 Malcolm don't hang out with the fellas for over a week. No, don't blame that shit on the core. That's just nasty motherfucker. Man. Right. I'm about to say, hold on. Do man. not blame them. Do not it's blame them on Mallory Core. <laughs> Yo, no, I think, I, 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 think, I think something happened at Okinawa with the horses. No. It definitely wasn't Oki. Okay. Besides, no. besides the grouper issue, besides that little grouper issue in the, in the middle of the sea, I think I had an issue with the fish. And, 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 and the horse. And the horse. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. So, we haven't done it in a while, but see, comedian CJ Trials. Oh, my God. Comedian CJ Trials. Please tell them. Tell me where they can find you and what you got going on, dog. Uh, follow me at CJ Trowers on Instagram comedy. Uh, CJ Trow, Comedian CJ Trowers on Facebook. And Comedian CJ Trowers TikTok and YouTube. Say where? Comedian? You you want to let that have a saddle or not? You were, is this the fucking so the horse from Blazing Saddles or not? You had all types of questions. One time ain't gonna hurt Blazing Saddles. One time ain't gonna hurt nobody. This thing is Dalmatian. So which one? Is anyone watching? <laughs> Is this a running horse or a Clyde's <laughs> dad? Budweiser or Rosa? The one that be on P Street, don't be the niggas around. I like the short, the short hair ones. Is this a CD biscuit or a pin? I'm surprised he ain't saying. Are there any mini bandies in this? A crackhead horse or some shit. You know? We don't have yeah. to. Don't, don't give no ideas. Oh, God. Thanks for everybody for watching. This is Heavy Duty Cutie Big Tone. Oh, my God. Mel, All right, so we gonna you, hey, you can you find me absolutely me. nowhere, absolutely uh, nowhere, no socials. <laughs> <laughs> he said he don't have and a social. No, no <laughs> socials. He said he's I'm in not, I'm not on Twitter. I'm not on Facebook. I'm not on Instagram. What's your website, son? It's Connect My 360. Check him on Connect 360. Here's the channel. This is where you want it. This is where you're gonna be at. Oh, find him at the Donkey Show, Tijuana. Oh. <sighs> So, so. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get some t-shirts. We gotta get some t-shirts. Oh, oh, oh man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm creating crazy. merch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, size 14. You get out of PTSD. Come here. <laughs> I throw it from here. That's, that's, that's my crypto oh, night, bro. That's my crypto night. That's my crypto night. That's my crypto That's my crypto night. That's my crypto night. Like a boomerang. I get flashbacks. I'm like, oh, no, no. No way, man. No way, man. No way, man. No way, Oh, my God. Oh, man. So we 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 get ready to get up out of here, fellas. Yeah. What would you do if you were watching your Netflix with your boy and he put his head on your lap? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, son, this shit. We can always do this shit. Here we go. <laughs> always do this shit. Like you said, this is the last one we got out of here. And here you go with this shit. This thing got a bonus one. Always <laughs> in. It's been two weeks. 
Yo, you know, we can wait for this. Yeah. This is not what you rather. We can push it away from this. We'll have to answer this one. No, no. What we should do to him with his house and see what, how he. Oh, wait a minute. Exactly. We ain't shit about our house. That's what I said. No, no. Nah, you're going to see on your own. I don't want to see what that scenario pans out. I'm cool. I'm like, he's gonna hawk smash me! He's gonna hawk smash me! Sorry. Look, what y'all gonna do? Dog? I don't know. You Netflix it with your boy, and he put his head on your lap while y'all watching Netflix. I'm hoping he fainted because, you know, his high blood pressure or something. Or he can fight. Why? You want Jeffrey Dahmer to stand up? <laughs> no, because. I hope he fainted? Because there shouldn't be no other reason. <laughs> Is it because you put something in his drink, dog? Like, wow. Hey. First of all, if you watch Netflix with your boy and, and at your house, that, that's, a, that's already a problem. Second of all, even if you faint, you should get up and I'm let fall. it go. Yeah, I'm getting up, right. <laughs> and let it go. Fall, fall and see, <laughs> have a full seizure. Tongue out of everything. What happened to getting a mouth to mouth? Fuck no, that shit gets. That nigga died. Call him on his side and call 911. Right. Call a professional. Oh man. We ain't pound his chest for for to the Bremen Breeze. No. Nope, that nigga died. No. <laughs> nope. Not doing that shit. <laughs> nope. I mean he just wanted to be close to you, man. He just Nah, fuck that. <laughs> he wanted to be close to you. He wanted to be close to you. Like, no, for real. Like, what if he did that? Like, you it's not like he literally set up because that's what he was trying to do. Like, he wanted to just snuggle. He's like, mm. No, hell yeah, he did that shit. He said, mm, hell fuck. He, he, he bowled while he was. Mm. <laughs> Get the Mike Tyson brass knuckles to the back of his head. Look at that. <laughs> now you got a concussion, nigga. Oh, I can't even keep it going. Look at that. Because I'm still messed up. I swallowed the horse. I'm going to say shit. 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 All right. Jesus Christ. All right. We're fishy. We're here. Uh, we're the. <laughs> Boy, that's. Ladies and gentlemen, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching us. I've been King Bear in the building. Comedian CD Travels. Every dude the cutie, big toe. Big sneak from the West Coast. And we're going to catch y'all on the next one. Right, peace. peace.